Well, hello. Welcome to another video here at T-Rex's Python Pit. I know it's been a while since we posted some videos and, you know, life gets in the way. We're getting back at it, though. Rest assured, we're not going nowhere. So today I figured I'd do a little bit of a different video. I have a snake that you all well know. It's Juggernaut. Now, Juggernaut is my five-year-old hypo head kale and blood male boa constrictor. And he has a bit of an attitude. So I wanted to show you what it's like to go ahead and bring him out. First of all, I have these welding gloves here. Yes, they're welding gloves. They're about 45, 60 bucks on Amazon, nothing special. And I do wear them because he's got teeth and he loves to see you bleed. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring him out. He's already up there waiting on me. So, he's on here. And again, he has a bit of an attitude. He can be a bit, you know, but he's still a really awesome snake. And I want you guys to really see. Now we're going to go up here, open up, you got to always keep a hand in front of me, he's going to strike, strike, he's going to, let me just grab a hold of my friend here, bring him out, the problem is though is you can't let him get enough room to strike, because he's going to do that. The hypo blood and kale, male, five year old boa constrictor. Now, see, he wants to curl up so he can strike at me. Actually, today, I'm actually being pretty cool. That's his striking. But again, not a bad snake. You just gotta take precautions. He probably won't even bite me today. He actually, tell you the truth, for Juggernaut. This is about as calm as I've ever seen. Look at the colors on him. It's a little over four and a half feet long, almost five. I've had videos with him roaring. And now I have a video here with him chilling. He eats live rats, as I've said before. He's actually probably this calm because we just fed him maybe a day or two ago. Again, I wouldn't go letting children hold them and I wouldn't go putting them by my face but I might even go as far as to take off a glove today but I don't think we're going to push our luck that far it's a little warm here too it's like 85 degrees out you just got to watch him though because he's smart and they have problem solving intelligence too he's an escape artist as you can see the enclosure I have him in there got double locks on the top and bottom it's a 40 gallon enclosure and uh plenty of room for them. They like things to be tight. And I take them out and I let them come around and play. And as you see, he's quick. He's playing with me right now. If he wants me, he'll come get me. And I have his female friend right underneath him. That's Scarlet. She's the female version <coughs> of this. And then when we make these two together, that's when we're going to get the black dragons. I want to do a little bit longer of a video this time, and I wanted you guys to see everything. He's got a little cave in his hide there. He's got a nice swim hole. He is really being fidgety. Probably going to get bit any minute now. See? You just got to know who you're dealing with. It's not that he's trying to be an a-hole. It's who he is. He doesn't know me that well. Well, he knows me better now than in some of my earlier videos. I've had him now for almost two years, a year and a half. And, you see? But still, an awesome guy. Truly an awesome guy, an awesome snake. Just deserves a little bit more respect. Some of my pythons, you don't have to worry about as much. But, this is no pipe on. So now, we'll go ahead and put him back up in his tank. At least try to. 